Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the Battle of the Century. In the red corner, we have Thermal Grizzly's Carbonaut. And in the blue corner, we have Icy Graphite Thermal Pad. Now, is everybody ready to beat some ass? Okay. This whole social isolation thing might be getting to me. What's up everyone, Eric here from Hardware for Gamers. Today I'll be testing Thermal Grizzly's Carbonite Pad and the IC Graphite Thermal Pad to see which thermal pad performs the best. I'll be using my CPU cooler testing method, which is to render a blender scene, specifically the barbershop scene. This render takes about 15 minutes, and while the render is running, I'm logging the CPU temperature every second using Open Hardware Monitor, and I'm taking room temperature readings with my digital thermometer. When the render is complete, I rename the log file, shut down the system, and remount the CPU cooler. I'll be running three passes for each thermal interface. Speaking of thermal interface, I'm also going to be using Arctic MX4 as a comparison in these tests. In the benchmarks, I'll be showing three temperatures, the idle, the average, and the max peak for each thermal interface. Now before I put up the benchmarks, the test system, the CPU is the Ryzen 5 3600 at 4.1 GHz on all cores with 1.19 volts. The motherboard is the ASRock X470 Tai Chi. The RAM is two 8GB DIMMs of Corsair Vengeance 3600. CP cooler is the Fractal Design Celsius S24. Fans and pump are all running at full speed. The power supply is the Corsair CS750M. The OS drive is a 250 gig Western Digital Blue SATA 3 M.2 SSD, and all tests were done on an open air test bench. Just a reminder, all these temperatures are being shown as a delta. So for the Arctic MX4, the idle temperature was just over eight and a half degrees, with the average temperature being 30.5, and the max peak temperature was 32. Thermal Grizzly's Carbonite Pad had an idle temperature of 9 degrees with an average temperature of 32 and a half and a max peak of 34. The IC Graphite Pad had an idle temperature of 8 and a half degrees with an average temperature of 32 and a half and a max peak of 34. So the interesting part of this is I was expecting the Thermal Grizzly Carbonite Pad to perform as well as the MX4, not the IC Graphite Pad. Before running my tests, I did a little bit of research and watched an interview between Steve from Gamers Nexus and Devour. Devour indicated that the Carbonite pad performs better with higher mounting pressure, which my version of the Celsius S24 doesn't have the greatest mounting pressure, which could explain these results. So just something to keep in mind if you are thinking of buying one of these is the mounting pressure of your CPU cooler. Now I'm not saying that the pads didn't perform well, quite the opposite, I think both performed really well, along with the added benefits that they don't wear and there's no need for cleanup, makes the concept of thermal pads very interesting for me and other enthusiasts. Now if you are a first time PC builder and you're nervous about the whole thermal paste thing, thermal pads become a very viable option. Well, that's all I got for this one. All the normal stuff, if you like the video you know what to do, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.